For a long time, I thought taking a picture took as long as the click sounded. Today I know it a little bit more precisely and can take pictures with my camera between 1 8000th of a second and up to 1 minute. How this works I will explain you in this video. With the shutter speed you choose how long do you want to take a picture or how long you want to expose an image. Shutter speed or exposure it means both the same. How long you expose a picture affects how dark or bright your image will get. A short exposure means less light comes to your sensor and the pictures get darker. And a long exposure means more light comes to your sensor and your pictures get brighter. Depending if your object is moving you have to choose a fast shutter speed to get the desired object sharp. For example people who dance. Choose a shutter speed faster than 1 320th to get a sharp shot and no motion blurry. Because what's happen if you choose a fast shutter speed? Your pictures get more sharper. And here is my 1 320th rule. If you go to a day trip, to a festival and take handheld shot with your camera and you don't want to change every time the exposure or the aperture, choose the S mode. Your camera is now in the semi-automatic mode. Fix the shutter speed to 1 320th and go to the light meter to set how bright you want your image to be. In this way you prevent motion blur, your objects are sharp and your picture is automatically exposed correctly. But sometimes you want motion blur to make your image appear softer, for example a river in a landscape. If you want to shoot with a long exposure, use a tripod. The camera is so steady and the landscape mostly too, that allows you a long exposure like 5 seconds or up to 1 minute if you want that. So that's it for this video and the exposure. If you want to see the full tutorial for photography then click on this video here. And if you like this video then push the like button, that helps me a lot. In this sense, thanks for watching and uh, have fun. Bye guys.